Well, hey guys, it's Viejo here, and it is about halfway through the third week of December in 2023. You're coming down to the wire here. Got uh, kind of an unusual day here on the central coast of California. We got clouds, we got some rain due in uh, later this afternoon or early evening, and then it's supposed to rain the next two, three days, which uh, we're thankful for. We never say woe to the rain around these parts. Hey, uh, it's Moldy Monday. And uh, what I've got for you today is another RCDS mold for 45 Colt. Um, this is the 45-225-CAV. Let's take a look at the label here so you can see what that says. Oops, there you go. All right. This was a, an eBay find. It was new old stock, had never been cast. I got it for a very good price, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of half the MSRP for an RCVS two cavity mold. The mold uh, did cast very well as we would expect with uh, an RCVS mold. Um, I didn't shoot the rounds very well though. Um, I shot them out of the uh, Cimarron SAA revolver, single action revolver, very nice revolver. Um, but I just didn't do a very good job at the range that day and, and even the video kind of sucky, which we'll talk about that in a minute. But um, uh, you know the drill here on uh, YouTube. If that's where you're watching this, I can't show you the mold or any of the casting. You got to go to the Rumble channel and uh, it's you know over there at rumble.com. If you're not already subscribed, you can type in my channel name that you see right there um, and find it all. But here's what the bullet looked like. Okay, after it was cast. If you're watching on YouTube, um, we'll uh, skip over the casting part and take a look at um, the post-casting uh, uh, information there, powder coat and the metrics uh, page that I do for my moles and what there is of the shooting video. All right, um, if you're on Rumble though, we'll get the mold out, take it apart and show you what it looks like. You know, if you've been following the series along, you know by now sort of, uh, what some of the differences are between an RCBS mold and a Lyman mold, okay, and a Lee mold and so forth. Um, we got to get some MP molds cut in here before too much longer, don't we? Um, so uh, let's go ahead and, and take a look at the casting part. Here are the metrics then for this bullet, the RCBS 45-225-CAV. Came in heavier than I thought, you know, from the model designation, I thought it would be lighter than that. But anyway, these all weighed right at 235 with this alloy. Ran at around 700 degrees with Viejo number one. That's the 95-3-2, 9532, right? 95 lead, three antimony, 210. Cavities are a little bit different and those measurements were very, very close on that top when it could have been 4545, okay? And then the overall length, 0.635, and the base up to the top of the top driving band, 0.395. Okay, those are the RCBS 45-225-CAV done in Eastwood's Ford Dark Blue. Nice color, easy coder. All right, so you saw how the casting went. The first two weren't perfect. They were they were good enough. Um, I did keep them, uh, um, and uh, the rest of the casting session went just fine. Okay, produced a you know, good bullets for me. Um, didn't cast all that many, maybe enough to go load up and shoot, try the, try the round out with uh, what would seem to be a safe starting point. That's kind of the whole mission that I've got going on here. I'm not looking to do load development um, at this stage of the game. I want to cast enough of these to get an idea uh, of where um, I can start with load development at some future time, should I even ever decide to do that. Um, sometimes I get, you know, a mold that I'm going, yeah, I'm not going anywhere else with that mold. Other times I get a good load just by luck to start with, but many of these have no published load data. So we got to kind of find a good starting point. So let's go ahead then and uh, cut into range footage. And you'll see, you know, again, we shot these out of the nice uh, Cimarron single action army uh, revolver, very beautiful firearm. I love shooting this gun. It's really a nice one. I just didn't do a very good job at the range, but let's go look. 
lower right. I was gonna tell you earlier, if you if you have a little bit of a bucket or something that you want to leave here every now and then when I go down there and pick up some lead, I wouldn't mind saving it for you. Oh really? I've got buckets. I'll, next time I come up, I'll bring one. Yeah, just a little something that I yeah. can just yeah. like a coffee can. Yeah, because I'm down there. I mean, obviously, all of them. and I'll just you know. Yeah, it's pick up it's pretty. Now and then. You know, to pick the stuff up, but you know. Yeah. I'd appreciate it. I could because you know, that way there's no net loss of the lead. You know, we just keep. <laughs> Okay, there it is. That's not that great of a pattern. Not too bad, though. All right, there it is. And and uh, I shot the video for this before I figured out how to uh, make those GoPros do a little bit better job. Um, one of the things that I did is that, or since I shot this video, was um, add a second viewfinder onto one of the GoPros that faces me so I could tell whether the thing was even aimed right or not. Um, and the other thing that I've done is stop shooting the target with a GoPro. I've been using the, the telephone instead. It has a better camera in it. Um, that GoPro just doesn't reach out far enough to those targets to give you a clear picture of what's going on. So um, those have been uh, some improvements I made. But anyway, um, I w it was still a fun project as it always is. You guys know me. I like to just get out there and get the casting done and go try a new one. So that's what we did. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Got a little bit out of it. Maybe you saw a mold that you um, hadn't seen before. But from the Viejo bench, for now, that's all she wrote. <laughs>